Hi there, thank you for watching today. This is a special programme where Pastor Michael Cummings will pray some deliverance prayers. Thank you very much. God bless you. Hello and welcome uh, to this special programme we're doing today on spiritual warfare and deliverance prayers. Uh, whatever your needs are, I believe there may be something here today for you. I'm going to start off by reading a famous uh, warfare, spiritual warfare psalm, something I always use in deliverance services, Psalm 35. It says, The Lord, the avenger of his people. And I'll read Psalm 35 first. It says, Plead my cause, O Lord, with those who strive with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Also draw out the spear and stop those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. Let those be put to shame and brought to dishonour who seek after my life. Let those be turned back and brought to confusion who plot my hurt. Let them be like chaff before the wind and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery and let the angel of the Lord pursue them. For without cause they have hidden their net for me in a pit, which they have dug without cause for my life. Let destruction come upon him unexpectedly and let his net that he has hidden catch himself. Into that very destruction let him fall. And my soul shall be joyful in the Lord. It shall rejoice in his salvation. All my bones shall say, Lord, who is like you, delivering the poor from him who is too strong for him. Yes, the poor and the needy from him who plunders him. Fierce witnesses rise up. They ask me things that I do not know. They reward me evil for good to the sorrow of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. I humbled myself with fasting, and my prayer would return to mine own heart. I paced about as though he were my friend or brother. I bowed down heavily as one who mourns for his mother. But in my adversity they rejoiced and gathered against me. Attackers gathered against me and I did not know it. They tore at me and did not cease. With ungodly mockers at feast they gnashed at me with their teeth. Lord, how long will you look on? Rescue me from their destructions, my precious life from the lions. And I will give you thanks in the great assembly. I will praise you among many people. Let them not rejoice over me who are wrongfully my enemies. Nor let them wink with the eye who hate me without a cause. For they do not speak peace, but they devise deceitful matters against the quiet ones in the land. They also open their mouth wide against me and said, Aha, aha, our eyes have seen it. This you have seen, O Lord. Do not keep silent. O oh Lord, do not be far from me. Stir up yourself and awake to my vindication, to my cause, my God and my Lord. Vindicate me, O oh Lord, my God, according to your righteousness, and let them not rejoice over me. Let them not say in their hearts, Ah, so we have it. Let them not say we have swallowed him up. Let them be ashamed and brought to mutual confusion who rejoice at my hurt. Let them be clothed with shame and dishonour who exalt themselves against me. Let them shout for joy and be glad who favour my righteous cause. And let them say continually that the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. And my tongue shall speak of your righteousness and of your praise all the day long. Amen. And the first subject we're going to speak about today and we're going to pray about today is sickness and infirmity. But we're going to give Jesus all the glory. Dear Lord, in the name of Jesus, your word says that you sent your word to heal our diseases. And Lord, we pray for everyone out there who is sick. Sick of mind, sick of body, sick in their spirit. For those who have got minor ailments, for those who have got terminal diseases, for those who believe all hope is gone in their lives. We're going to pray now 
for the Lord to heal your sicknesses in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. And Lord, we give you all the praise, the honour, the glory, the splendour, the majesty, the worship and the love. We praise and exalt the blessed name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour. And we praise the Holy Spirit. And we lift up to you all, Father God, in Jesus' most glorious and blessed name. All those are sick, all those that are suffering, all those that are fearful of death. And in the name of Jesus Christ, we bind and curse every condition, every ailment, the symptoms of every disease. Everything which is registered in the medical journals of, of being an ailment, a condition or a sickness and all those yet not yet discovered. And we take authority now over the devil and all his works and we bind and curse every spirit of sickness, every spirit of pain, every spirit of adversity and every spirit of infirmity now. We pray for all those who are laid low, all those who are disabled, all those who are hurting, all those who are disorientated, all those who have given up hope now. And we command in the name of Jesus Christ and we ask you, Lord, to pour down the healing and anointing on everyone watching this program now. And we come against every lump, every tumour, every growth, every cyst, everything which is considered cancerous, whether it be malignant or non-malignant. And we command now in the name of Jesus for every cancerous cell to leave these people's bodies now in the name of Jesus. We take authority, we bind and curse all forms of cancer and we command that they go immediately in Jesus' most blessed and most glorious name. And we lift up all those who are suffering from heart disease disease now. All those whose arteries have narrowed, who are suffering from hypertension and high blood pressure now. All those who are recovering from open heart surgery, all those who have angina, all those who have suffered strokes and heart attacks now. In the name of Jesus Christ, if there is any embolisms or blockages in any of their veins and arteries now, we pray that those blockages be removed in the name of Jesus. We take authority over the wicked spirit of heart disease now and we command in the name of Jesus to loose God's people now you have no authority over God's people now and you must go completely we come against diabetes we come against asthma, eczema we come against asthma we come against any respiratory disease we come against every skin complaint now we come against rheumatism we come against arthritis we come against every bone disease and joint disease and ligament disease and muscle disease known to mankind now. We take authority now over every joint, every bone, every muscle and sinew and we command now that all cramp, all disability, all pain, all swollen joints that you be delivered and released from them now. Satan, we bind you and curse you in the name of Jesus. Anyone watching who's diabetic, we command that your sugar levels go back to normal now. Anyone who is watching who has high blood pressure, we command your blood pressure readings to go back to normal now in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Satan, you have no dominion or no authority over these people. The 72 returned with joy and said, Lord, even the spirits are subject to us via thy name. And Jesus said, I beheld Satan fall like lightning from heaven. I give you authority to trample on snakes, to tread on scorpions, to overcome the power of the enemy. Nothing by any means will harm you. However, do not rejoice that the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. Every terminal disease now, every disease known to mankind, now muscular dystrophy, multiple cirrhosis, 
anything which is considered unable to be cured, we pray to Jehovah Rapha, the God that healeth thee now. And we ask for the heavens to open and the, and the healing flow to stream now, now by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We pray, Lord, you would touch your people and you will heal them now. We command every spirit of infirmity to leave these people now. We command you to go. We take authority over you and you must loose them now in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. And we pray now as we pray this prayer that people who couldn't walk are rising up and being healed in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. That tumours are falling off of people. That cancer is going now. Every cancerous cell is leaving the body now. Archeries are being the blood is, is flowing freely through arteries now. All embolisms and blockages are being dissolved now. We pray that sugar diabetes is being healed, that asthma is being healed, eczema is being healed, all respiratory infections are being healed, all skin complaints are being healed. We pray now, Lord God, for thou art mighty, thou art glorious, and thou art wonderful, that you will touch your people now and heal them. We pray and the healing scripture says from psalm 30 O lord my god i cried unto thee and thou hast healed me the bible also says that weeping endureth for a night but joy cometh in the morning in the name of jesus christ our lord and savior rise up and be healed now we pray in jesus christ our lord's name amen And now we go to our next subject now. We're going to pray against witchcraft. And witchcraft has many forms. But we're going to pray against the spirit of witchcraft. If you've been involved in witchcraft or involved in the occult. And you want to be set free. You want to be set free from the torment you're suffering. The nightmares you experience. And the feelings of not being alone. Something is always around you harassing you. We're going to pray now for that to be broken in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In the book of Revelation there was a war in heaven and Satan and his angels fought and the angel Michael fought with his angels and Satan's place was found in heaven no more. He was cast down and the Bible says that they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. And Satan, I bind you and curse you in the name of Jesus. We come against every spirit of witchcraft, all occult spirits now, all obia, all black magic, all voodoo, all juju, and all shango. We come against every witch, wizard, sorcerer, medium, diviner, soothsayer, clairvoyant, and astrologer now. Every potion, lotion, powder, dust, chart, chant, incantation, and prayer. Every spell, every curse, every covenant. Every sacrifice, every blood sacrifice, every food offering, every smoke offering and everything which has ever been done to invoke Satan or invoke demons and evil spirits. We bind your demons and your evil spirits, Satan, and we break every curse now. You must realize now, Satan, that you are a created being and no creating being is greater than the Father and we bind the way you have spread witchcraft throughout the world now whether it be in Africa whether it be in Europe whether it be in North America South America it, whether it be in Central Asia or the Far East wherever there is witchcraft practiced and wherever demons and evil spirits linger we command now that they be bound those demons and evil spirits be bound the curses be broken the spells be broken the sacrifices be destroyed now in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord Jesus has destroyed the works of the devil by making him shameful and making him look a fool on Calvary where Jesus 
Jesus Christ shed his precious blood so the captives can be set free. And the word of God says, the spirit of the Lord God is upon me for he has anointed me. And in the name of Jesus, I command every devil, demon and evil spirit which has possessed mankind to loose them now in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of seduction, every spirit of torment, every familiar spirit and evil spirit now. All women that are suffering visitations in their bed and their homes of a night, we command now that they be loosed in the name of Jesus and we command that you, Satan, will loose God's people now. You have no authority over them now. We break the soul ties and we smash the covenants to pieces now. Everything which has been invoked in every witch's covenant which has been invoked by any Satanist now, we break that power in the name of Jesus Christ. And Jesus came that the captives may be set free. And when Satan tried to tempt Jesus on the Mount of Temptation, Jesus Christ stood firm and resisted the temptation. Satan, get thee behind me, thou art an offence unto me now, and we bind and curse your works, we bind and curse your spells. We command you now in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour's name, to loose God's people, to leave them to go and to never ever come again. And for anyone out there, who is bound into witchcraft, who is watching this now. We say move away from Satan immediately. Do not engage in those prayers any longer. Seek Jesus and be set free so your sins can be forgiven you. For Jesus Christ has destroyed the works of the devil. He came, he destroyed the works of the devil on Calvary and he made a mockery of him. And in the name of Jesus now, we say be free in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour's name. Like the man from the hill country of the Gadarenes who had the legion of demons. Jesus set him free and the demons were sent into the herd of swine and the herd of swine ran down the steep bank into the sea and was drowned. We command now in the name of Jesus that demons and evil spirits loose God's people immediately. They go to the dry arid places in accordance with the Bible and they wait there till the time of reckoning where the devil, the beast and the false prophet will be cast into the everlasting burning lake of fire. And we say loose God's people now in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord we pray. Amen. The next subject now we're going to speak about is sexual soul ties and sexual immorality. Things that the devil uses to attack us all. And we're going to pray now in Jesus' name. Lord God in heaven, in these liberal days, we are told that sex outside marriage is acceptable. The age of consent is constantly being brought down. And in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, we come against every spirit of lust, every spirit of sexual immorality, and every spirit of perversion. The word of God says in the book of Ephesians and also in the book of Hebrews that no fornicator has any, any part in the kingdom of of God, the kingdom of heaven now. So we say to all you out there who are having sex outside marriage, we say refrain from fornication now. Rise up and be delivered of these afflictions. And we come against every spirit of prostitution, every spirit of pornography, every spirit of fornication, every spirit of sexual immorality, every spirit of paedophilia, every spirit of adultery. We come against these compulsions and these sexual addictions that are coming upon people now and we pray now, Satan, we command that you loose these people in Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour's name. We say now it doesn't matter whether you've got children outside marriage, it doesn't matter. If you're not a virgin any longer, it doesn't matter. 
If you have had many sexual partners now, now is the time to be delivered and set free of these things. Now is the time for your spiritual virtue to be restored in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. And we rebuke those spirits of sexual immorality now. We rebuke those spirits of fornication now. We command those demons of lust and perversion to set you free now. We command it now. It doesn't matter what society thinks. It doesn't matter what the government thinks. Jesus Christ our Lord has told us to live decent lives now and sexual immorality is an open door in your life to be attacked by demons and evil spirits for compulsions, lusts, perversions and addictions to come upon you now. We pray now in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord that God will restore his people now. He will restore their chastity. He will restore their morals in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. And every demon which is bringing these thoughts of lust and perversion, we pray now, including abortion, including all these children that have been born out of wedlock and have been aborted for the sake of convenience, we pray now that all those women that have suffered abortions be restored now, restored to full spiritual health now. And we pray that you will be set free from those sins now. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour's name, we pray. You shall be restored. You shall be released from sexual immorality now. Lust, perversion, sexual immorality. We rebuke you. We bind you. We curse you in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Loose God's people now. Let them go free. We command in Jesus Christ our Lord and Saviour's name. The woman caught in the act of adultery. She was brought out and put before Jesus. But Jesus had compassion and mercy on her. But he said to her, go and sin no more. And I say to you now, go and sin no more. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour's name we pray. For all those who are bound into sexual immorality, whatever perversion you have controlling your life, we say now, say this prayer. Loose me, Lord, in Jesus' name, from every form of sexual immorality, and fornication restore my body restore my virtue spiritually to me and set me free from all sexual compulsions in Jesus Christ our Lord's name we pray Amen thank you we're going to continue with these spiritual warfare prayers now and now we're going to look at ancestral curses have you ever wondered why you behave like your father and your father behave like his father before him? The Bible says, with regards to ancestral curses, that the sins of the forefathers will be revisited down to the third and fourth generation for those who hate me. You see, when these curses are passed on through the generational bloodlines and they're not broken, it is considered to be hatred and rebellion against the word of God and against his authority. So we're going to pray to break all ancestral and generational curses now. In the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, we go back to for everyone who's watching this program now, on their mother's side of the family to as many generations that can be accounted for. Wherever those generations lead, whatever nations, tribes that those generations originated for. And we break every generational curse of witchcraft on the female side of our, of our bloodlines. We break any ancestral curse of abortion, of stillbirth. We break any ancestral curse of adultery and sexual immorality. We break every occult curse that has come through the generational bloodline on the female side of the family now. Any witchcraft, any divination, any spiritualism, any obia, any voodoo, any juju, any shango, any new age teachings now. Any criminal activity, any abuse, any violence, any murder, any rape, any deaths 
that have come through suicide. We break these ancestral curses now on the female side of the family now. Any children that have been born outside wedlock, where there has been a stigma and a curse that have been attached to them, and those stigmas and curses have ruined their lives, in the name of Jesus, we command every demon and evil spirit. We break those ancestral curses now. A line is drawn amongst those things on all of your female side of the family despite of where they come from despite that all that has been done accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour and you will now live and you will no longer be privy to everything which has gone before you and that will no longer accept your lives and ruin the opportunities in your life now in the name of Jesus Christ every sin every compulsion every addiction every crime all unbelief or sexual immorality, all occult practices are now broken for everyone watching this program now on the female side of the family. We break it now in the name of Jesus and Satan. We bind you and curse you and we say you will not revisit that iniquity any longer past this generation. It is all broken and dealt with today in Jesus Christ our Lord and Saviour's name. In the book of Ezekiel, it says the children will not eat the sour grapes that the parents have eaten now. The generational curses are broken in Jesus Christ, our Lord's name. Now we go back on the male side of the family for anyone watching now who has inherited generational and ancestral curses through their forefathers. We break it now. We know in Africa that we know that food offerings are put out for the forefathers and for ancestral relatives to come and feast spiritually on the food. We break such things. We break such superstitions now in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. And we break all ancestral reverence now in the name of Jesus. We break on the male side of the family any spirits of warfare, of murder, of rape, of sexual immorality, of adultery, of violence, of witchcraft, of divination, of belonging to any cults, of believing in anything unsafe for all our ancestors who never believed in Jesus Christ, who was bound into other religions. We pray now that those ancestral curses will be broken. A line is drawn now under you and you will be set free from those ancestral curses and all of your children and your children's children shall be loose now. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray now that you will accept Jesus Jesus and live, that you will be blessed and you will be set free. We rebuke the devil, we rebuke every demon and evil spirit. We rebuke now ancestral curses and we command that they will be broken now and the stigma broken, the guilt broken, the condemnation. For the book of Romans says there is therefore no condemnation for those who walk according to the spirit, who no longer walk according to the flesh. So rise up and be set free now of ancestral curses by the most powerful and glorious name that ever was, the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour, we pray. Amen. Thank you. Now we're going to look at cults. And we're going to look at any of you that have been bound into cults in the past have accepted certain teachings and those teachings have become a stronghold. Some of you who have, may have ancest ancestors who were Masonic, we just prayed to break ancestral curses. But we're going to break particular things with cults now in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. And we come against every cult, every creed, every religion, every belief that does not accept that Jesus Christ is the son of the living God, that refuses to accept Jesus as the king of kings, the lord of lords, the alpha, the omega, the beginning and the end. 
We break such belief systems. We break such cultic belief systems now. And in the name of Jesus Christ, we break that power of the spoken word that has been spoken over you, that has been spoken over your children and your children's children. There is no great you, there is no great architect of the universe. There is God. His name is Jehovah. His name is Yahweh. His name is Adonai. And we believe in Jesus Christ, Yeshua, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And we break the power of cults over your life now. We break the power of any sworn oaths that have been said in these cults over you and over your children now. We break any sworn oaths you have said unto death like Masonic swore oaths that are said under the oppression of Tyler's sword pressed between your shoulder blades now and in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord we come against every non-Christian cult that has people bound in now those cults that do not believe in the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit who teach that Jesus Christ was just a man who teach that Jesus Christ was just a rabbi who teach that Jesus Christ was not divine in any way we break their authority we break their power in the name of Jesus Christ and we command now in the name of Jesus that these people be loosed and set free now in the name of Christ their eyes will be open the scales will fall off their eyes now and they will see the Lord Jesus standing before them and he will show them his hands and his feet and the riven side where the blood and the water flowed and in the name of Jesus Christ we break the power of cults we break the power of Freemasonry we break the power of Mormonism we break the power of Jehovah's Witnessism we break the power of every religion that does not accept the God of Israel is their God and look to other gods who worship idols who worship stone who worship bronze who worship gods that have ears who cannot hear who worship gods that have mouths who cannot see who worship gods that have eyes eyes that cannot see them or look at them mere superstition mouths that don't speak eyes that don't see ears that don't hear we rebuke and bind those religions now they are fake and they are false and in the name of Jesus rise up and be loosed and set free from them now in Jesus Christ our Lord's name and we pray Lord in the name of Jesus, for all of your creation to be set free and to turn to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour, we pray. Amen. Thank you if you prayed that prayer. Many of us are bound by fear. Fear stops us from moving forward. Fear stops us from achieving. Fear stops us from living the life we should live. Fear can start in childhood. You can be bullied. We can be fearful of snakes and spiders. We can be fearful of the dark. We could be fearful of failure. We could be fearful of rejection. Worry, rejection, anxiety and fear all come under the heading of the strong man, the spirit of fear. And the book of Timothy, 2 Timothy says, For God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and sound mind. And we're going to banish fear from your life now. You are going to be able to move forward. You're going to be able to be free. For Jesus came to set the captives free. He came to release those who were bound in dungeons, in prisons. Whatever has held you captive, in fear you will be loose from it now in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord please join me in prayer and accept that you will be set free from fear today in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Saviour the spirit of fear is not of God it is from the enemy it is from darkness it is from division now and we come against every spirit of fear now. Fear in children, fear in men, fear in women, fear which is stopping them living normal lives now. We come against every spirit of anxiety. We come against the diseases connected with fear, irritability.
irritable bowel syndrome, nervousness, dyspepsia, heartburn. Oh, in the name of Jesus, we command spirits of fear to loose God's people now. You have no power and you have no dominion over them. And in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour, we command all of those gripped with fear living in darkness now to be loosed, to be released by the power of the Holy Spirit and the precious blood of Jesus that flowed at Calvary now. For God has not given Given you this spirit of fear so rise up and be healed all the things you're frightened of frightened of devils frightened of demons frightened of ghosts frightened of the supernatural frightened of snakes frightened of spiders frightened of taking exams frightened of meeting people frightened of being rejected we command those unnatural fears to loose you now in the name of Jesus we pray all those compulsions that come with fear compulsive watching compulsive scrubbing compulsive turning lights on and off constantly checking things checking your car doors checking your house doors now you shall be loose from those unnatural fears now we command those fears to loose you they have no power they have no dominion over you they must go now Satan we bind you and curse you in the name of Jesus and we command that you loose God's people now and you set them free immediately you have no power and dominion over them you will yield for the Bible says in the name of Jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue that shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and fear you are banished fear you are bound fear you are destroyed in the blessed name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you. We're going to pray against the spirit of divination now. Divination is slightly different to witchcraft. Divination can be people who visit fortune tellers to have their cards read, people who play with Ouija boards, have tarot card readings, get involved in various things which they're looking to find out what is in store for them in the future. These things are evil. Why would you need to go and see people to find out what lays ahead for you? Some people try and contact the dead through spiritualism and spiritualist churches. These mediums have spirit guides who come very, very friendly with information that you don't know. That's because they're familiar spirits. They've been around your families. They've been around your situations. They've acquired knowledge and they pass this knowledge on to other demons and evil spirits who turn up at, at card readings, who turn up at spiritualist churches, who turn up when people go and see mediums. It is all about deception. It is all about drawing you in into this web of falsehood so you can be manipulated, controlled and dominated by these things. We're going to pray now for you to be set free from the spirit of divination now. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Dear Lord God, in the name of Jesus, set your people free now from the spirit of divination. You told your people Israel in Deuteronomy 18 that prior for them going into the land of Canaan, they would not carry on with the practices that the people who inhabited them lands did soothsayers, clairvoyant, spiritualist, mediums, we rebuke and bind every spirit of divination now and we command in the blessed name of Jesus that God's people be set free. We stand against mediums now and all information given to people, uh, card readings, tarot card readings, crystal balls with Ouija boards now, people who practice necromancy who try and contact the dead in the name of Jesus we break and bind these things now we pray for all those who have lost loved ones who who are, are so grief stricken that they feel they're being led to go to mediums and spiritualists to try and contact the dead from beyond the grave we pray Lord that you release these people from these superstitions and these deceptions now in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord Lord, we pray to comfort your people when they're grieving. 
Comfort your people, Lord, when they're searching for answers. And we pray now, Lord, that by the anointing and the power of the Holy Spirit, that the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will descend upon them and keep their hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. We bind every spirit of divination now and we bind everyone in the world who practices divination. We pray for everyone who has been taken in and who has been exploited financially. We pray now that any medium, any soothsayer, any witch, any clairvoyant who has a point of contact of that person that has gone to visit them, a memento, a photograph, a, a an item of clothing or jewellery. We pray for those soul ties to be broken now. We pray for those soul ties with divination to be broken now. We pray for every sexual soul tie to be broken now. We pray for all soul ties and things that have tied us and kept us close to anything even in our lives for these things to be broken now. We say divination is not the answer. Jesus Christ is the answer. Seek the Lord Jesus Christ and be lived. And be loose now in the name of Jesus Christ from all those deceptions. Be loose now from all those things that are manipulating and controlling you now. And seek the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says seek the Lord before it's too late. Accept Jesus Christ now with everything you have. And move away from the realms of darkness now. We command everyone watching now to be released and be loose from familiar spirits, spirit husbands, spirit wives and spirit guides. We pray now that everyone be loose from incubus or succubus and any demons of sexual violation. We pray now that all open doors from divination which are causing people to be possessed, to be obsessed, to be demonized in any way, we shut those doors now in the name of Jesus Christ. And we plead the blood of the Lamb over everyone watching this video today. Any section where we've prayed for, we plead the blood of the Lamb on all people now. And we pray that God will set you free. If you are watching this, and what we've prayed today has touched your heart, and you would like to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour. You would like to move away from the darkness into the light. Well, I'm going to leave this prayer with you. Say this prayer, not just with your mouth, but let your heart speak for you and accept Jesus Christ. And I do promise you, he will set you free. And you will no longer be in condemnation. But you will be a new creation. No longer in famine but in feast. No longer in darkness but in light. Let's pray that prayer now. Shut your eyes and say this with me. Lord Jesus, I know you are the Son of God. I know you are the Son of Man and that you died for me. I come to you now asking you to forgive me of my sins. I repent of my sins. Wash me clean from all iniquity by the precious blood you shed at Calvary. Send your Holy Spirit to me. Be my personal Lord and Saviour. Draw close to me and never forsake me and never leave me. For I love you, Lord, and I thank you for dying for me. I thank you for shedding your blood for me. Make me a new creation. Make me born again. And the older things will truly pass away. And I will be made new by your mighty name and by your precious blood. Amen. And we finish with the grace. And we say, now the grace of our Lord and Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour, fall upon you today. May the Holy Spirit live with you, abide with you, and never leave you.
For surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. And may the Lord make his face to shine upon you. And if you would like to share this web address with any of your friends, they can go to ChristSetYouFree.wordpress.com That's ChristSetYouFree.wordpress.com In Jesus' name be blessed. Amen.